hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can build out a simple android application in kotlin so basically here we will be loading the image from a url so you can go to internet copy image address and basically you can load any sort of image that you see inside a simple image view this is uh, the app running on the uh, android emulator in android studio so we have this image loaded here and you can basically uh, give any image url that you want to do you can go to any website let's suppose you want to uh, copy any image let's suppose I copy this image address so I can simply change this address here I need to simply plug the address of the image here and if I now press this and I need to click apply changes so now this will build out and now you can see that it is now successfully embedded this image so now I will be showing you how to do this in Kotlin it's very easy all the source code I have given in the description of the video so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this video so now let's get started by building this Android simple application let me just delete all this and start from scratch this is basically this uh, let me also delete this so the very first thing we need to do guys you need to go to uh, android manifest.xml file and here you need to provide the permission for internet usage so for this you will be requiring internet so that's why we need to add this permission android permission internet now you need to go to your activity underscore main.xml file and here you will just need basically a image view widget image view widget and inside this widget guys it will take some properties so we will import the required attributes which is uh, for the height which will simply wrap content we also need to give it the layout width as well so this is uh, also wrap content and we will also give it an ID guys which is Android ID and this ID will be let's suppose I give as image view that's all and also in order to center this we have a property which we can center layout underscore center in parent and this we can say true that's all so now this will be a widget and you need to apply changes so nothing will be shown here you will see that if I apply the changes nothing will be shown here I need to stop this so if I now once again run this so now you can see it is empty right now so now we need to go to main activity dot kt file kt is the extension for Kotlin and here we will write step by step the code here so this is basically the layout which is inflated with the help of this set content view method so after this guys we need to declare a variable so which is VAL in Kotlin we will declare a new variable image view and we will simply uh, find view by id and find view by id and this will be of type image view image view so we need to extract this so here we need to pass the reference r.id.imageView so this is basically the extension guys so sorry id that you given right here if you check inside activity underscore main so we have given this id image view so we are targeting it inside kotlin this is basically the syntax guys this is the variable that you declare val stands for this is slightly different from java but still it's very easy this is the type of the widget that you want to have image view and a semicolon is not required here in java you need to strictly put the semicolon but here it is not required so after this you will declare ex uh, another variable which is executor and here we will simply make use of this executors class it will be automatically imported and now it contains a method guys which is new single thread executor so we need to execute this method and after this once you execute this we need to give a handler function so we need to have this handler function handler this will be imported and here we need to pass this looper dot looper dot get main loop 
so i think we need to first of all import this looper this, this is a, there inside this operating system it's a built in function so you for this application guys we are not using any sort of third party dependency all these dependencies are pre built inside android system so after this we will de declare the image by var keyword so var image of type bitmap so we will convert this uh, url image to a bitmap which will be initially be null and uh, after this we will executor and it contains a method execute and inside this execute method guys this needs to be a, like this and here we will put the image url so whatever image that you want to display here so here we need to copy paste the address of the image that we need to display so let's suppose i select this image i will simply say copy image address so i will plug this address right here let me create some space here you can see that this is basically the image url guys that we have copy pasted from the internet now we can try catch block we need to surround this code inside try catch so now if any sort of error take place we can simply print that error so this will be of type exception and we can print out e dot print stack trace that's all and inside this code guys what we need to do is that after this inside this try block we need to have a variable which is in i think it's a backtick symbol so we can use basically the java package and it contains the net package and the url and here we will pass the url guys and it we need to call this function which is open stream that's all this is and after that it will give you this image and uh, we can use bitmap factory and here we can simply say decode stream and inside this we can pass this variable that's all and then we can simply say handle handler dot post and again this curly brackets and inside this we can simply say image view dot set image bitmap and here we can pass the image that's all so this is slightly complicated code guys but still this is the code in kotlin which is required to embed the image inside your image view so now we can uh, see this result in a emulator if i try to basically run this application click on this run app button so now your application will run and now your image will be displayed here you will see that you can change this image let's suppose i pick another image so you just need to basically change the address here so click on apply changes so you can see that so thank you very much guys for watching this video all the source code is given in the description of the video i have written a complete blog post so you can copy paste all the source code